Okay, so in the last few lectures, we have seen how to plot different kinds of functions in Mathematica. So I told you all about the equations, uh, functions in Cartesian coordinates and then we discussed polar coordinates. Now similarly, we can also plot parametric equations where x is a function of, for example, some other variable omega, x is equal to a sin omega t, y is equal to a cos omega t and then you can specify the range of omega and you can solve. Only difference is that you have to use the command parametric plot. Now, one more, uh, one more important thing I would like to tell you all that if you have any uh, questions or anything you would like to explore, you can always go to the documentation of Wolfram and you can find the what are the various commands used can be used for your requirements. You can always type in the Google Wolfram documentation and then you can try to find the commands. Now, today in this lecture, let us try to see how to solve different kinds of equations. So, let us all start with a very simple equation. I will take here, I will make a new cell and then I will write solve I would like to solve x plus 1 is equal to, you have to write 2 times 0. And then I would like to solve this equation for x. What would I get? x going to minus 1. Okay. Now let us try to see another simple equation. Maybe we can take quadratic. So I can just write here format input title and I can write quadratic equation. Let us take an example. Okay. X square plus X plus 1 is equal to 0 and then we would like to solve this for x. So, here we get two solutions for x because this equation was a quadratic. Okay. So, similarly we can also solve cubic equations. Okay. Now, for example, if we take x cube plus 2x square plus 3 is equal to 0 and we would like to solve for x. So, I should get here three solutions. Shift enter. Okay, good. So, we got here three solutions. Now, also if I would like to solve numerically any equation, I can use n solve. If I take x square any equation you can take depending upon what you would like to solve 0 comma x okay so it will solve this equation numerically and i will get these solutions okay now all these equations were in one variable we can also solve two or three simultaneous equations. So, let us try that. It is always nice to give some titles to your code which you can always give by using format and giving the title. Okay. Now, I would like to solve 
two simultaneous equations. So, for example, my equation is x plus 2y is equal to 2. Then I have to join this equation using and, and, and x plus 4y is equal to say 3. That is all. So, these are the two equations and also I need to specify that I would like to solve in x and y. Okay. So, let us see shift enter. Yeah. So, we got here two solutions x is equal to 1, y is equal to half. Also, you can add three simultaneous equations in this and you can play around. One more very important thing I would like to tell you all which we require in solving various physics and maths problems is replace all. Okay, we will give a, again a heading. This is a very useful command which we often use. So, for example, if I have an expression, let me take an expression, for example, a plus b into c plus b. Okay, And I would like to replace, for example, only variable a in this equation. Then I will use slash dot. This is, this means it will replace and what it will replace? I would like to, for example, replace a with 2. Okay, So, let us see what it will give. Shift enter. So, what it has done? It has in this expression a plus b into c plus b, it has replaced a by 2. Okay. Now, let us try to see, for example, if I would like to, you can replace one variable, two or whatever, uh, as many variables you would like to. So, for example, I take this expression again, copy, paste. Okay. And then I would like to replace b also by 3. Then what answer do I expect? It should replace a by 2 and b by 3. So, I should get 2 plus 3 c also b it will replace by 3. So, 3 plus 2 I expect an answer 5 plus 3 c. So, let us see shift enter 5 plus 3 c. Okay. So, this is how you can use this and it is a very important command which you can use to simplify various kinds of expressions in your calculations. Okay. We will try to see few things more in the next video. Thank you.